pretty much every manufacturer has had a recall at some point. And we understand there are faults. I think the secret is not hiding them. Consumers as a whole, if they go to the lot and they can't find the car they want, they're going to look at something comparable, which could be a Kia or a Hyundai. Who are you and how did you get in my back seat? I'm Lauren Fix the Car Coach, and I'm going to teach you how to change a flat tire. Let's get to it. I do go in to get service. Is there a way I can tell when I'm getting a highly certified mechanic or yes. somebody? Absolutely. ASE, Automotive Service Excellence. I'm actually an ASE certified technician. Mm -hmm. You want these people working on their cars because they actually have to be tested. Hi, I'm Lauren Fix. April 17th, 1964, the Mustang was launched at the World's Fair in New York City. When it comes to car care, I can show you five simple tips to save a lot of money. What stands out is the sheer speed. Tell oh, me about this I've thing. had this car at Monticello Racetrack. It's a Cadillac CTS-V, 556 horsepower. Now, can you imagine this? You could take that to the country club, but you wow. can also put it on the track. You look on the inside of this car, what does it look like? Oh, it's got Bose surround sound, you know, the 5.1 system. Of now you're gig. talking my speed. Okay, 40 gigabyte hard drive. Yeah. It's got touch screen technology. Of Keep course, going. All the Cadillac goodies. Why do people buy these cars? It's the design, power, and it's fun to drive. And it's a real head turner. You could drive this Boss 302 every day. It makes an average driver feel really great. You buy a new car, your insurance payment will definitely go up. And those are things that people don't think about. Isn't that how we got here in the first place? Buying more than we can actually afford? It's at least three states now looking to help plug budget holes by taxing plug-in cars. That is really going to put the hurt on both the Leaf and the Chevy Volt sales. And they really don't need that now when they can't get Leafs produced because of what's going on in Japan. And they're building Chevy Volts as fast as they can and they're just not selling at the level they were hoping. I say that the government is demanding that we buy electric cars and that's great if you live on the edges of the country but the bulk of the country doesn't want these cars. Mm -hmm. We want what we drive. The Explorer's making great sales and it, whether you like it or not, that's what people want to drive. She is so passionate about cars, she named her daughter Shelby after the Shelby Mustang. If you don't check your tire pressure and the tire pressure drops and you figure, well, it's not a big deal, there's a couple things to consider. One, tires are very expensive. They used to be less expensive, but guess what's in tires? Oil. Also, the gas cap, that's yep. another important thing. Last year, the Car Care Council found that 147 million gallons of gas evaporated. Why is this so confusing, and what should Toyota drivers do? Well, I think the first thing, it is confusing. When you put out a huge statement like that, stop driving your car, I happened to be at the gym when that was announced, and people were literally freaking out. They were on the treadmills thinking, I can't drive my car, how am I going to get home? So when you make a statement like that, I think that's a huge impact on consumers who have a huge loyalty to Toyota. I should, I should point out that Lauren Fix is this great lady. She teaches you all sorts of things about how to take care of your car, maintenance, also how to change a tire. And she taught me how to do that. Mm, she's the car coach. Show us, what is our first step, Lauren? Well, the first thing we want to do is find your spare tire, which is usually in your trunk. This is a mini spare. You know what? You can't change a tire without the jack. Oh my goodness, a yoga mat. <laughs> Push. Muscles. Okay, now the secret is you have four studs sticking out. You want to line it up. Well, you got to get the studs in the hole. Now you're going to bring this back down on the mini spur. Remember, this is only good for about 50 miles. Enough to get you to a garage. Right. I wouldn't drive that far. You need a ride? Actually, I do. You can take me to the next person that's stuck in the side of the road. Oh, great.